So this was a trial in patients with relapse and refractory classical Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now, patients could have either had disease progression after an autologous stem cell transplant, or the alternative was they need to have been ineligible for an autologous transplant and had at least one prior line of chemotherapy. Uh, the pembrolizumab is given at a standard dose, 200 milligrams IV, once every three weeks. Response rate was one of the secondary endpoints in this clinical trial. Uh, the response rates were actually statistically similar, though numerically were a little bit higher for pembrolizumab compared to brentuximab vidotin. Uh, the complete response rates were fairly similar at in the range of 20%. One of the great things about the results from this clinical trial was the, the consistency that we saw in all of the results, both the efficacy and uh, side effect toxicity endpoints as well. Uh, looking at the subgroup analyses for progression-free survival, these were consistent across all subgroups, uh, particularly with an interest in the patients that had either had autologous stem cell transplants or had been ineligible, as well as for the patients that had either primary refractory disease early relapse from primary treatment or patients with later relapse, all very consistent. In terms of the toxicity data, uh, we saw the typical signals that we see with both drugs. So with brentuximab, that was mainly issues around peripheral neuropathy. And with pembrolizumab, typically immune-related side effects, uh, though again, the, the typical side effects were mild and fairly easy to deal with. And grade three or four pneumonitis was uncommon at a little over 5%. So this is the first of the randomized trials that have looked at comparing a checkpoint inhibitor uh, with uh, an antibody drug conjugate, brentuximab vidotin. Uh, this is the first of the major studies now that have come out looking at checkpoint inhibitors. And you can just see this is really the tip of the iceberg. Uh, both of these agents are very active in Hodgkin's lymphoma. We're now seeing uh, the generation of randomized trials, particularly with <clears throat> drugs in the frontline treatment setting, as well as very interesting combinations in the relapse setting. And there is a combination study of this type of approach as well in patients that have relapsed after autologous transplant. So lots more data to come. This randomized trial was a global study designed to really look at the improvement in progression-free survival for pembrolizumab over brentuximab vidotin. Uh, the study met its primary endpoint. I think the real key to this clinical trial is that we now have a very important new option available as a new standard of care in the treatment of uh, patients with relapsed refractory classical Hodgkin's lymphoma.